Hello, my name is Lil and welcome back to my booktube channel. Today I'm going to be doing the booktube newbie tag. Okay, so for this video I'm going to be answering the standard questions that are a part of the booktube newbie tag, but then I've also added a few of my own just so you guys can get to know me a little bit better and know what my reading interests are and my favorite authors and favorite books. Okay, so the first question is, why did you start this channel? And I really just started this channel to be able to share my love for reading with more members of the reader community and talk about books in more of a long video format rather than just short videos on Instagram and through posts as well. I've loved watching BookTube and YouTube over the past few years and it just really seems like such a wonderful space to be so I'm excited to be here and share my love for reading with you all and connect with even more of you. Question number two is what are some fun and unique things that you can bring to booktube and I think the biggest thing is that I really want to do with this channel is promote indie authors a little bit more. I'm a big fan of the indie author community. I think their books are always super um, underrated and not shared enough about and talked about and they are so so good so that is something that I'm really excited to kind of share with you guys on this space is promoting indie authors talking about their work going on my own journey to find new indie authors because right now I kind of just have a core group that I that I read and follow and get along with but I'd like to explore more indie authors out there because there's so many that are not traditionally published and I'm really excited to talk about them more on this space and that doesn't I mean I'm gonna not talk about traditionally published authors. I mean we know I'm a Sarah J. Mass girly. We know I love Taylor Jenkins Reid and Emily Henry and a lot of other traditionally published authors so I'll still be reading their books and I'll still be talking about them but I really want to try to use this space to talk about indie authors a little bit more. Three, what are you most excited for about this new channel? And I think it kind of ties into question one is that I'm just really excited to be able to connect more with the reading community and find more books to read through booktube and just really develop some amazing friendships with other booktubers, readers, and authors along the way. Four, why do you love reading? I love being sucked into a new world. When I read, I basically block out everything going on around me and it's just so fun to dive into a new world, meet characters, for romance, watch them fall in love, for fantasy, go on adventures with them and it just kind of transports me to a whole nother area and I, I mean it's just so special that books are able to do that is transport us to somewhere else and we can kind of escape real life for a little bit but it really just is kind of the escapism for me reading brings such a joy to my life and i never want it to not be a joy so that is why i scaled back my reading goal this year i don't really have a goal set just to read what i want when i want to and yeah five what book or series got you into reading so i've been through a lot of different phases of reading in my life as a big reader in elementary school and i would say probably my favorite book then was charlotte's web i have read that book i can't tell you how many times but it's just always going to be one of my all-time favorites and then of course the harry potter series i was reading that in elementary school and really enjoyed that in middle school, I was really into Hunger Games and Divergent, I think as most middle schoolers were at the time. And I mean, most everyone was at the time. They were just such a fun read. And I remember sitting in my reading class that we had in middle school and just flying through those books and getting to talk about them with one of my friends. And then in high school, I kind of stepped away from reading. I had a lot going on with gymnastics and schoolwork and I did an early college program. So I was taking college classes, junior and senior year of high school. And then college got in the way, of course, for another three years. So I stepped away, I guess college, four years, um, stepped away from reading. But once I finished my graduate program, I got back into reading and I think the book that really got me back in was Shipped by Angie Hockman. It was one of the first ones that I picked up and I just loved it. It was a cute little rom-com and really just kind of reading picked right back up from there with me and I couldn't tell you how I went so long without reading but I'm really glad to be back at it and being able to have that escape into another world. Question number six, who are your favorite booktubers? Some of my favorites are Sarah Crowley, 
and Haley Pham and Destiny. I love their friendship. I think it's so fun that they film booktube videos together and their girls trips and sharing their favorite reads with each other. I love all their videos separately, but their videos together are also super fun. And then one of my besties on Bookstagram, Katie, she started her booktube last year and I absolutely love watching her booktube videos and She's just such a fun person to talk to about books. So I'm very happy that she's found her space on BookTube and she's been so, so supportive of me this whole journey of starting my own channel. And I can't wait maybe for some future collaborations that we will do maybe this year or next year. Seven, when did you start reading? So again, went through a lot of phases, really started to become a big reader in elementary school, in middle school, kind of fell away from that high school and college and then got back into it late 2021. Number eight, where do you read? I read in a variety of places. So I live in Florida. So during the summertime, I really take advantage of being able to read by the pool and at the beach and outside in like a hammock. Um, I love reading outside as much as I can in the summer and then kind of during the colder months for us as Floridians. I have a couch here in my office that I read on. I read in our living room on our couch. We got a new one last year and it's super comfy, perfect for reading. And I'll read in bed um, in the morning and at night, but I don't usually find myself going there in the middle of the day to read. It's more of a when I wake up or when I'm going to bed type of thing. Number nine, what kind of books do you like to read? I mostly read romance. That is just always been one of my favorite genres, but I've really become a fantasy girly in the last year or so. So um, definitely want to try some more fantasy books this year, but I'm mainly romance and fantasy. I will read thrillers occasionally and really do enjoy a good contemporary fiction and historical fiction book. So I'll pretty much try every genre. There are some genres that I'll kind of stay away from like horror. That's just never been something that I've been into even with like TV shows or movies, but for the most part, just romance and fantasy. Number 10, my favorite indie authors. So there are quite a few that I love and I've really been able to connect with them and become friends with some of them. So um, one of my ultimate faves, she'll forever be a favorite for me, is N.S. Perkins. She has five books out now, and I just absolutely love her writing style, and she's one of the sweetest people you will ever meet. I really love Taylor Torres. She only has one book out, but it is so, so good, and again, she is just an amazing person to talk to on Bookstagram, and I'm really excited to see what her future books are and follow along on her journey. Another really fun one is Hannah Bird. I was able to meet her last year and again, just such a bubbly personality, a great person to be around in her books, pack an emotional punch. So prepare yourself, but I do love her writing style. And then we have Lindsay Lanza. She is a new find to me. I read her book, A Little Magic in December, and I'm looking forward to reading her other backlist book, Speechless, probably springtime to prepare for her next release. And then one of my besties, Chip Pons, he is an indie author for his first book, but he just announced a couple weeks ago that he is going to be traditionally published for his second book. So I'm very, very excited for him. Lots of fun things happening in the indie author world. And then another fun one is Cleopatra Margot. She is on Bookstagram and she is so, so sweet. She writes such wholesome romance books. So I definitely recommend you check her out. And she has quite a big backlog too. So you'll definitely have lots of books to read by her. Question 11, who are my favorite traditionally published authors? Wow, the list could be so long. Um, Sarah J. Mass, of course. I love all three of her series so much. Emily Henry, I absolutely love her writing style in her books. Taylor Jenkins Reid will always be one of my favorites too. I love how she has a mix of romance and historical fiction. They're so fun. And then who are some others? Christina Lauren. I'm kind of like 50-50 on their books, but Love and Other Words will always be a favorite for me. BK Borison, I really enjoyed her Love Light Farm series. We have Elsie Silver, who was an indie author, but recently turned traditionally published. Hmm. Kristen Hanna, how could I forget? Love Kristen Hanna's contemporary fiction and historical fiction books. Ashley Poston, I really enjoyed her two books that she has out and I'm really looking forward to her third one that's releasing this year. Sarah Adams, 
I don't I don't talk about her too much on my bookstagram, but I have enjoyed her books that I've read and love the cheat sheet. So I'm really excited for her um, follow up to that, the rule book that's coming out this year. Lots of amazing traditionally published authors out there, and there's definitely a whole other sphere that I've yet to explore. So I'm really excited to find more of my favorite authors this year. And then our last question, number 12, some of my favorite books. This is so hard. Um, I'm going to try to stick to favorites within the last couple of years because just favorites of my whole life will always be Charlotte's Web, Fault in Our Stars, Hunger Games, Divergent. I mean, those are books that I've never forgotten about. So they'll, they'll always be favorites for me, but I kind of want to talk about some newer ones that I have found over the last couple of years. So in a Sarah J. Mass world, every series, I refuse to pick one. Um, I think if you made me pick a favorite, it was, it's going to be Akatar and then Throne of Glass probably second and Crescent City third. Crescent City may move up after the next couple of books, but right now Throne of Glass is just still on my brain and it, it's, it's taken that second spot away from Crescent City. For Ennis Perkins, I will always be a, a Risk on Forever fan. That was her debut novel. It is so beautifully written. And then I also love, I mean, it's, I refuse to pick one for her too. I could name all of her books, but probably second and third are going to be Where Time Stands Still and Where We Belong, which is her Evermore series. For Taylor Jenkins Reid, I love One True Loves as my favorite contemporary fiction from her. And then Carrie Soto is back as my favorite historical fiction. Emily Henry, Happy Place, Beatree, Book Lovers, Top 3. People Who Meet on Vacation, gonna reread it this year, but I'm hoping it'll raise up in the star ratings for me. And then Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren, The Two of Us by Taylor Torres, A Little Magic by Lindsay Lanza, You and I Rewritten by Chip Pons. I don't think I could ever really full, fully narrow it down to like a top five or top 10. That is too, too hard of a question for me to have an answer to. That, that wraps up all the questions for today's video. I hope that kind of helps you guys get to know me a little bit more. And I'm very excited to make some more videos for you guys over the next couple of weeks. Let me know down below if there's any certain videos that you'd like to see, maybe any recommendation videos for romance books. I could do it by trope or um, maybe like a trope, romance tropes recommendation video. Possibly. I'm going to have to do a lot of planning for that one, but I am excited for this next year on booktube and I will see you guys in my next video whenever that is. Bye!